Good morning. It's me, Lee, with Victorian Dreams by Lee. <laughs> and um, this is day, oh, I don't know, let's count. Uh, one, two, three, four, day five. And this is what we're going to make. And this is the Anna Griffin uh, Wildflower Kit. Um, all the information will be down below. And this is what we're going to make. So let's just go ahead and pull this out. It's a bright one. It's a magenta pink. So there you go. Okay. So we're going to make this. It's all Anna Griffin. This is from my stash of corners. I don't know how long I've had them. We use four roses. We cut this out twice here and twice here, so four times. And then we cut um, this out five times. So I'll go over that with you. So this is the magenta color that I used. And I used one, two, three, four of them to get everything I needed. So this is what I used, and this is what the pack comes in. This is not long enough to go all the way around, so I had to cut it and splice it together. And it is called 3D Decorative Border Dies, and this is the one I used. And guess what? I didn't even know it until I went to use it. This matches. We're going to use this again. These are on sale on HSN right now actually. Uh, card, car, card centric com, compendium. Oh my lord. I'm tongue tied. You can tell when I need iron. <laughs> um, dies. And these are the four. And they're supposed to be for cards. Because see this makes the card. This matches that die. This one matches another one. I'm not sure about these two, but this matches that die perfect. When you put it up against it, it's the same die. So I had already done this and had a different frame I was going to use, and then I found out it matched. So it's the carp um, card centric dies. Okay, so we need to use this die. When we get our picture, we're going to cut the picture out and it fits perfect right there. Okay, so we're going to use three dies out of this. We're going to use this one, the second one, and then we're going to use this one as a journaling uh, one to match. And then we need to measure this and put a white piece or journaling lines in the middle of that. And I think I forgot to do that. So let's move all this out of the way and put this together. So this one right here, we have to cut it five times to get it to go all the way around. Um, so you need it... Um, you need it, see, because you cut it in half when you get it. So one, two, three, four, and then you need one extra one um, to splice it together, and then the other extra one would splice the second sheet together. Okay. Um, I have a green journaling card, but I don't think we need it because, like I said, we need to cut one of those, and then we need to take this measurement inside. It doesn't have a die for it, and we need to put a white uh, journaling card on there, or you can use this. Okay, here are the two of these, and I need to clean the, I need to pick some of this out. I can see I didn't, but that's okay. Okay, so you have four of these, two of each going the direction. So two is going one direction, two is going the other. 
Um, I do have extra pieces, uh, but I ended up not using them, so I'm going to put those back in our stash. And here are, we needed four of these for the corners, and I got these out of my stash. If you don't have them, uh, Create Nine had the uh, Trellis album, and she had corner dies in that. And there's corner dies. I'm sure you can find a corner die. So let's put this together. So see how it comes and we have to trim it. It's got a little tip that you got to cut and then this has to be, whoops, it didn't go all the way through. So let me trim that off. My magnet is getting old after crop. So I need to replace my magnet. So you see how uh, you have to trim them apart. So let's trim this apart. Okay. So here we go. We have the scallop facing inward. One, this three. Let me go ahead and cut this one too thought I did. I could have been more prepared for you. I'm sorry. I don't want to rip that. I'd rather just cut it because of that magnet sheet's getting worn out and it doesn't want to release as well. So there's one. And thank goodness it has a it shows me right where I need to cut it. It's pretty easy. Okay, so let's do this. Okay, that's extra and extra. So here is one. And what we're going to do is, oh, and this is the paper. And then that's the back side. So there we go. I almost did it like this and put all these on each line, on every other line, but we had done uh, we had done that on a couple. But if you want another idea, this is what I almost did. Um, and then you just combine them and trim them off the page. But that's another idea. And then you could put. But I I didn't want to do that. So okay. Just giving you ideas. You don't have to do everything. It's just ideas. This might be your idea of what not to do. So let's just put a little glue on here. Oh, I need a glue stick on there. Okay. Let's put a little glue. And let's face it up. So we're going to let it hang off just a little so that we can miter it. It doesn't need to hang off very much. Not even a half an inch. And we glued it down. We're going to take another one. We're going to take another. We're going to uh, start over here on this side. And we're going to, am I in the screen? Let's see. I don't go all the way, and I can always glue where I didn't get. Because I don't want to put glue on my scissors and make it hard. So go off of it a little and lay that down. Then we can miter that in a minute. Okay. So here is another piece. And I like to go right where the tip is. So this gets a little bit of glue and then that gets a little bit of glue. I didn't go all the way to the corner because I don't want to have to cut through glue. It's too hard. So there, that's hanging off. Now, we, you do need to trim this one. You don't need that much because if you only have the extra, you're going to have to do it on each corner. Okay? So on this corner, we have a little bit of glue and we're going to overlap it so that it totally matches. And that totally matches, but I forgot to add a little glue. I forgot to add glue right there. So let's add a little glue and we're lining it up. 
and we're going to trim it. I've used this on this one, so you would actually have a little extra. Um, so now let's do this one, where we're going to put glue. You do not have to use hot glue. You can use whatever glue you like and what you feel comfortable with. So there you go. And we are going to miter. So we are going to um, let's see. Let's put some glue on here. You can tell my mats are even going old because some of these are really pronounced, and some of them are not as pronounced. Um, so yeah, I'm going to put a new mat in my impress okay and then we got to put add to these so um, put a little bit of glue here and I'm going to add it right there once again I'm rushing I'm always worried that I'm taking too long but you can always put me on two speed let me add glue underneath okay and then we're going to trim this and we're going to finish this other piece and let's put a little glue on the paper this time I didn't forget and on to the foil let's add it right here okay I do have extra because I lost one underneath a piece of paper and so um, that's why I had extra so now let's get my sharp little scissors and like I showed, if you haven't seen it, you can see the tip of the paper right here. My scissors are going to be right at that angle of that tip of that paper. And we're going to just miter it. And it's so easy to cut because I didn't add glue. And let me take that little tip off. So there's one mitered. And what we have to do is go back and see if it needs to be glued down. See how it needs to be glued down just a hair? So I'm going to take and just put a dab. The kind of glue gun I use is a fine tip glue gun or you wouldn't be able to be doing that. It would have too much coming out. Okay, so let's miter all the corners. So you get your little scissors right under there. You could use a Zacto blade knife and I can feel I must have went too far with the glue because it was a little harder to cut it took a little longer let's pull that one off and let's see yep it came off and let's see this tip needs to be trimmed okay so now we got to glue it down a little and then we go to the next one Dying, the cutting the dies will take the longest. Got flyaways. To get rid of your flyaways from your glue, you take your heat press, your heat, your heat gun, and you just uh, you take your heat gun and you just blow it on it, and it melts them away only do it for a couple of seconds because you don't want to melt the glue that you just glued down underneath your paper and anything adjust in the wrong direction but I've got flyaways so then this one needs to be tipped to and that one went a little too far so I had to trim a hair so this one is done and then that one needs to be glued just a hair um, I know it's an extra step but this step ensures me not to have a hard time and these are Tim Holtz really good scissors and I don't want to ruin them um, and I only use them for this kind of stuff for fussy cutting so let's do the last corner by now I've done this several times so I'm sure you understand it so we're done with those I'm gonna take that away and this one needs a little bit of glue which next time I can just tell you it needs it and do it off screen so that 
everything is fine. So, okay. So now we say, okay, what is the worst two? Like this one and this one might be the worst two that you cut and trimmed because, you know, sometimes it's hard. So we're going to put these here and here. And it just hid your mistake. That's not why I used it. I just wanted to bring more color because that was so magentic, magenta. So um, I'm going to put glue. These might be sticky. I don't know. But I only did it in the corners because they could also be tuck spots if you wanted them to. But it's raised. You can stick something underneath there. So, And then we're going to do the other corner. They might be stickers, but but it has a gap, and I would hate for hair or dust to get underneath that gap, and a year from now, it would look dirty and tacky. So, I very, very, very seldom pull off stickers because of that reason and, um, and everything. So, now we're going to get these two. And we're going to use my non-permanent, um, make sure you clean all those little um, tabs off. And I'm going to put a little bit of glue that's non-permanent glue. And I am going to do the opposite this time and put it here. And then the next one, see those little tabs? Let me see, I have one more I need to clean up right here. But remember, there's another size to cut your pictures to fit in here perfectly. Um, remember also, if you don't like the layout, uh, if you don't like the layout, you can always change your papers around so that the outfits match the papers. This right here is for a journaling tag. You could put it here. You could put it in the middle after your pictures are there. Once your pictures are there, you're going to have like a white spot or a picture so you could put it there and have your journaling tag or you could cut it in half and have it here so or you may want to use this one uh, or a pink one pink one would probably be better than the green the pink one would probably look so much better so if you don't want to cut that, I understand. And that would probably, it, it matches so much better than the green. But, you know, Anna's colors are, uh, she doesn't match. She just adds. So now let's just, I don't peel off the sticker on this because it makes it sturdier. So this picture is going to go like this. And you notice it's tucking this uh, tip underneath and then the um, with the rose and then the leaf is on top of that and it's only touched right here a little glue and right there and it fits right here and then this one I did the same way one little dab and a dab and we add it right I even counted how many far down it's the second hole and there we go there is your two page layout you could use this if you want or you could use this so I hope you like this idea it is very bright it is bright 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 so anyway there is um, my layouts for today I hope you have a blessed day see you tomorrow